Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, Session 17, Part 2. It is the 23rd of August, 2019. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Eric Rainwood, the Sorcerer, Human. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, a Half-Elf Druid. Hi, I am Scott. I'm playing a Palding Half-Orc named Crumbar. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty the Kill, a Tabaxi Rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Excellent. You know, if I didn't go first, I don't think I'd mess it up as much. So no. much pressure. Do you think so? Sophie, I, I really love the extra pronunciation on Rogue there. <laughs> Rogue. 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 I, am, Rogue. I, mean, Rogue. I think, Calum, I go first every time. So think of the pressure I have. Thank you very much. Yeah, and, and then then you leave a gap, and I've got to meet with your brilliant intro, and I'm like, fuck. Who's knows right, his now? You, you you always go first. That's why everyone's so disappointed. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh wow. Well, guess who else is coming through the port with me now? Wow. I have no words. <laughs> I need painkillers. <laughs> Uh, yeah. nice. I'm not go I'm not gonna go to go through a part row, I'm just gonna suffer a fatal heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> Crumbar's tusks explode. The shrapnel kills him. <laughs> and everyone else, the game is over. Bye. No no, I'm still dead, I'm still travelling. It's fine. Yes, yeah, so just the adventures of Eric through the uh, the portal. <laughs> Woo! but yeah, so anyway, we I think we just we cut straight back to Kitty's reaction, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty much just like, oh, okay, that just happened. Um, I just sort of stand there panicking for a moment and like, I'm going to tell the others. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so you, the only thing left, by the way, so you notice this before you leave, is uh, the book. The book's on the ground. Oh, I go grab the book. Mm hmm. Yep, let's just get that kind of very she, delicate. Can, right. That delicate leaf in. Yeah, can yeah. she grab the book? Yeah. Yeah. Let's pick it up with two claws, like E. Literally just lift the book up and walk away like, with it. She's attacking it with claws. She's got to take damage. Yeah. No, I didn't know if the book had, like, DRM on it or something <laughs> like that, you know? Uh, magical DRM, yeah. Nah, it's, it's, it's a book with a delicate elven chain. N no point has Eric ever tried to open the book. <laughs> Definitely not. Like, literally at no point has he ever tried to just physically open it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> he's tried to, like, untangle no, the chain from, from it. it. Yeah. And then he's tried to electrocute it. And now he's tried yeah. to hit it with a hammer. So, yeah. So, no crumber. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Obviously, comes from a great manor house that didn't have a library. Yep. <laughs> he was read books, okay? He doesn't read no, books. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> no, but I had servants for that. Clearly, servants, servants like, opened the books and turned the pages for <laughs> I don't even look at the book. All they the books I found the were open. Room. They were always open when presented to me. <laughs> don't just, one just thought, does not just physically open a book. It's impossible. <laughs> Sean Bean was your butler? Like, <laughs> one's yeah. simply not open a book, sire. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the uh, speech you gave me about the tea. Yeah, uh, yeah. Proper tea. <laughs> anyway, uh, you, forgot say, you forgot to say bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, is Kitty distressed, panicked? What the scribe? How Kitty emerges at the table where what, the party are? This, what distressed even more than she already is? That's what I mean. Like, uh, well, does she compose herself on the way there? Does she just be like, eh? Well, I have this book. I here. literally just, I, I notice the book, I pick it up and just go bolting towards where everyone else is and just like come running down the stairs or through the door, just like, guys, guys, yeah, and just slam the book down on the table, like, and just start pointing out of breath, like, <laughs> eh. <laughs> hopefully they'll get the, the message because, yeah. you know, that's Eric's Yeah. Book. <laughs> I like that. I do like Stole his book. <laughs> so uh, Crumbar just walk Crumbar just walks up to the table and tries to open the book. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't open. <laughs> I knew it. He just kind of goes, "Hmm." The book doesn't open. 
I just kind of look at everybody. I'm like, what now? You know that that look of somebody that's dealt with a lot of people squabbling. I think yeah, like as like thingy ran in and slammed about, and maybe Ruya like startles a bit. Um, yep. Wings ah! go up. And I'm like, oh yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> Not right. what is it this time? You know that sort of like kind of almost mean look, you know, mm -hmm. but not really because you know you you kind of I, I I've grown a accustomed. They're annoying, but I keep yeah. them alive. You know that my thing. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I've what? got an, I've got an idea. Uh, Crumbar just turns around to Eremos. Eremos, you're good with books. Can you open it? I don't want to touch the book. The book hurt Eric. <laughs> or Eric hurt the book and the book hurt Eric back. I don't know. It, I don't it, think you would hurt a book. And I think you'll be it fine. It was Eric's magic that hurt him. It, himself. What, it wasn't What if book the book learned how to really? do it? He just looks at the book suspiciously when he says that. Like he doesn't trust the book. Like how he would look at Crumbar sometimes. <laughs> He just kind of narrow, narrow eye, kind of stares the book. Like, but what if it's learned how to do it back? Then I will punch the book. Um, I think obviously by this point, like, Reach is long since back, I think as well. Um, mm. To obviously the group. And I think, it, like, Eremos has handed you your daggers and stuff back. Your darts, even. Cool. I'll just say to Eremos, Eremos, you're our best chance at opening the book. And he's like, I don't think so. And he just kind of slowly shakes his head from side to side, like that is just so far from the truth. <laughs> then what? What then? Then what do you suggest we do with the book? Isn't it Eric's book? It is, Kitty. He, uh, he, he, power hammer and hole <laughs> gone. <laughs> Sorry, two seconds. I'm gonna laugh too much. <laughs> Are you saying he's gone? Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm just sort of there, like catching my breath, like hands on my knees, like pointing, going, "Yeah, that, <laughs> that one." Just, just give him a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where did like, they go? Crumb bars. <laughs> I grab Crumbar's the, uh, uh, what you call it is. The cup thing, goblet, and just take a few <laughs> <Glug. Yeah. laughs> Just tan it. <laughs> Is he overboard? Do we need to call the captain? I'll speak to I, I have no idea what happened. He he was just channeling something into the hammer, and then he just went smack, and he went into a into a hole, into a red glowing hole in the floor. Portal, portal. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. We don't know where he is. <laughs> no. Nope. See, this is what happens when you give hammers to people who don't know how to use them. I think Aramos just is staring at you at that point. When you say you, who's you? You know who. You. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Who does Aramos normally stare at? <laughs> that, Crumb yeah, bar. Okay. <laughs> Mostly because you discarded a hammer and he's still upset about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, I think Eremost is just looking at Crumbar disappointedly. Obviously, thing is having a good drink and calming herself down. I think reaches to just to <laughs> Eric is gone. Yeah, what did you do? What's the plan? Uh, I turn to Eremos. Uh, Eremos, no, it's serious. We really need this book open. It might hold the secret on how to get uh, Eric back. Can you please try and open it? He kind of like takes a step back when you're like kind of almost pleading with him. As if like, you know, that, you know, looking to go elsewhere, but don't want to be here. Um, yeah. The cagey look that he gets. And he's like, I don't think I can open the book. And then he kind of like holds his book out to you. Like he goes and grabs it like from like the bunk or whatever the, the kind of like thing that he's got. And he kind of holds it out and he's like, open mine. And kind of like prods you with it. Okay. And he's like, okay, I'll play along. So I try to open the book. Yeah, you open it. See? I opened your book. Yeah. So you should and be... then he, like, he kind of like points at it. Like the pages. Uh -huh. So I look down. And it's blank. 
Hmm. And he well, kinda, like, he pushes like all the pages over, like really kind of zealously, and yeah, they all and kinda, like, all fold blank. over. And he's like, "My book doesn't like you. I don't think his book likes me." We won't know unless you try. And please, Aramos, the party needs you. Roll persuasion. Do, 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 like a fourteen do, or better. You'll need. Do, 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 do. No, it's not enough. He's just not. <sighs> Should convinced. have rolled inspiration. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, he's just. He's not. He's not convinced enough. Like. His worry about the book, is more than a compliment or like a kind of you know in beginning, for you, from you. Can I use command on Eremos? I try. Uh, how is it that I use it? Do I just click the name? You tell me. Do you mean how you just cast it? Like Yeah, how do I cast it? Just Now, let's take a small time out. Okay? <laughs> just for everyone in the... As a player discussion. <laughs> Not that I'm saying the world works the same way as the Harry Potter world, right? But I'm what, about what, to basically command them to open it's the It's the book. fucking imperious curse <laughs> that you're about to like perform on a ten-year-old boy. Because he doesn't want to touch a book that has electrocuted someone. <laughs> you just malfunctioned. Yeah, here. but just saying, like, I just want everybody to be fully aware that you're about to fucking Benny Gesserit throat command this kid into the red a... bottle opens. Do it. Oh, is this again? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a little red portal mouth. Do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. So yeah, we might be talking about your alignment soon enough, though. From yeah, the... it probably isn't a good idea, you know. A paladin, and yeah, that's, uh... yeah. This is definitely like again, Crumbar can do it. There's no question about like whether well, he can or can't do it. But I will be adjusting your alignment. Yeah, I'm starting to think that as well. I'm more just thinking. I don't see like. I don't see how th it's not like you're commanding him to like run away from being totally frightened at something. Do you know what I mean? That's like a good use of that to get rid of somebody from a situation. This is you just been saying you didn't. I couldn't convince you with my my bullshit words to you. So mm -hmm. maybe maybe I'll just mentally force you to do this. Yeah, that's that's evil. <laughs> but you would be moved down to a like what are you just now, chaotic good. Yeah, well, I'm 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 more focusing on looking at my my you know the thing that I need to follow. I'm looking at that fight the greater evil. If I'm thrown between a lesser e evil, I mean that's or combating. But the way I see it is him getting sucked into a book. The, is the difference of that would be, do you go for the mook or the boss? Right, mm. that's what that is. This isn't a you bully a ten year old mentally well, with right. magic. <laughs> well, I mean, I I personally think Eremos is evil. So, wow, you can can't you actively detect alignment, or do you not have that yet? No, I've only got detect uh, thingy. <laughs> detect thingy. There are definitely thingies nearby. Um, <laughs> uh, divine sense that. Yeah. Uh, that one. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't detect alignment. I think you get it later. Then. All right. Um. But the detect alignment is definitely a thing that I'm sure paladins Fine. Do. For now, I shall, I shall... Again, you can do it, but I'm just telling you, I'm moving your alignment. It's definitely not something a good person would do. You just go to neutral. It's fine. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but trust me, guys, you do not want me to be evil. Uh, <laughs> I mean, put it this way, the GGW would have something to say about it. Yeah, he really oh. would, wouldn't he? It spanked your bottom. Yeah. Fine, I'll hold off for now. See what the <laughs> other guys can come up with. <laughs> maybe that thought crosses your mind, though. Like, mm -hmm. maybe, like, maybe this is a thing that you've like. Because keep in mind, Crumbar knows this move, right? You know, paladins can sometimes force their will on other people. So mm -hmm. like, I was an inquisitor for them. So yeah, exactly right. Like you used to get answers out of people. So. It's quite scary, like, maybe this is, like, flashing up parts of Crumbar's past that he's maybe, like, managed to temper. I think, I think it's that kind of way, it's like, I this is just how I'm used to in t getting my way, but then I'm like, wait, wait, he's not done anything wrong. Yeah, he's not, 
he is not a prisoner of the Golden Order. He is not quote unquote an he evil creature. He's be. not a demon. I, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. In case it's not made perfectly clear, I really don't like this kid. I think it's clear. Um, but yeah, that's good. It's interesting development for Grumbar. Uh, but yeah, so I, I think like. Eremos just kind of backs away and takes his book back and just kind of like slinks away after that and maybe that's like uh, that's when the inner thoughts happen but what does everybody else do well uh... <laughs> can I just say that um, after these thoughts have happened I, I apologise to Eremos and say if you really don't want to try your hand at opening the book I will not try make you and I think as he sat like on the bed or like the hammock or whatever it would probably be it'd probably be a hammock and he's, like, he's clutching his book and he's like he just kind of like scrunches up his face and looks to the side, like he's not particularly impressed with the, uh, you know, you know how sensitive Eremos is. He's got that face as if I've been output, and now you're apologising. Yeah. So clearly, I'm in the right. That thing a child would totally do, um, because the parents back down, and uh, it's like he's in a half. Yeah, and he's kind of like, I'd like to see you try, and he kind of just like scrunches his face up and looks away from me, like really obviously. <laughs> um, okay. Screw command, I'm going to hit him with my hammer. <laughs> I'm not actually. Uh, I know. <laughs> but but let, just, just bear in mind, guys, I said I said to the party, I am not going to try try and make you. Doesn't mean none of you guys can. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what's everything else this time? I've got like a, a cat that's drinking lots of alcohol to try and calm down after having pointed out she's lost a sorcerer through a red hole. And a... Uh, <laughs> Cranbar's like, Eremos, save the day! Open the electro book! And then Ross <laughs> went, no thank you. And then, uh, yeah, what's everybody else's plan with their missing sorcerer? Throw the switch, Igor. <laughs> Throw the switch! There's nothing we can do. Uh, we need to wait for him to find us, or for us to stumble upon him, because we've got no way of finding him. Uh, keep this book safe yeah. for him. Yes. Uh, I'm happy carrying the book, but I'm easy as it if somebody else wants to. That's really right. Up. Yeah, it's really up to you guys. Like the thing is, it's not like we have a you know Harry Potter coin system through which we can talk to each other. So I'm like, we can't even get news from him. Like we don't even know where it took him. Like just like he didn't know where, and it's likely he didn't know where it took him either, because oh, yeah. like we didn't know we were gonna go to the library. With that. I don't think he intended for us to go to the library. He just like, you know, press the hammer, well, hit the hammer, made the portal, and we're like, we are told to go away, so we're going away no matter where this might be. <laughs> so it's, I I don't even know what's going on now because I don't know where that portal would have taken him. So all we can hope is that whatever path he's on right now, Celeste is gonna guide him back to us <laughs> well, I love the hope she, <laughs> she's not even been gay than us let's face it I know but that probably mm. means that we're on the right path this right? is when when you watch the anime Nobody's of this you guidance. when you watch the anime of this you see her in the background of every shot helping you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah see it's like if this was like the actual tabletop version it would be hard moving our character <laughs> Are like moving stuff out of the way and just like nudging the right people in the right directions. Yeah, it's not happened. No. Yeah, getting getting Gil to show up at the right moment. Yeah. Everything, like know? yeah, like maybe pulling the one rock out of the landslide so the whole thing collapses so he can get through. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's interesting. The um, but... the thing is as well, like how do you not know that Kitty hasn't just shivved him under the stairs and the red portal was just a pool of his own blood, right? Because Kitty oh. wouldn't be sloppy like that. Yeah, she just push him over off the ship and that'll be it. He went through the thread portal of his own blood, then I dragged him over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> All this stuff seems to be on me. I can't get rid of it until I find a suitable vendor. I mean, I trust Kitty more than I trust Eric. So. I'm just saying all this because I know she's Whoa. not going to unmute because she's doing her hair just now. <laughs> um, and it's brilliant. Aww. Character assassination. Um, <laughs> no pun intended with the multi layer there. But anyway. Um, <laughs> How could you come back? We, we, we spent a good few minutes hitting each other. A night of passion, beating each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but let's face it. I love to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let's face it, like. Crumbar and Eric's fight, that was a long time coming. 
Yeah. After like you shocked me and all that nonsense. No, I didn't shock you. I hit you with thunder. Same difference. <laughs> I think he <laughs> sounds. He was still shocked. <laughs> he didn't expect to be like thunder waved in the back. In more ways than one. Should have been shocked. You should have been thunderstruck. We're doing. Just saying. We're doing that thing though, guys, where you know okay. there's a tricky oh. situation and you are talking around it because you don't know what to do with it. So. Yeah. No, we're not. Right, okay, I'm gonna stay silent for now. do about it, so we just carry on yeah, to... No. That's what I'm saying, like, nice. there's not really something that we would know what to do right now, and no way to contact him, and no way for him to contact us. Like, he knows where we're headed, mm -hmm. so we can only hope that he's gonna find us there. Mm. I hope. <laughs> yeah. I'll put his I mean, my there's backpack always a chance that, you know, right. we stay uh, uh, in this place that we're going to now and then when he finally gets there we would have we would have gone to was it good even that we needed to go to so yeah him? horizon yeah horizon's oh. where you're There's stopping off and then that he just misses us but um mm -hmm. in the meantime i don't think we can do anything mm -hmm. like no yeah like i think that's, I that's could, a valid reason. i could probably like do a uh, prayer to celeste before like going to sleep and be like uh, can you please help us find each other again like, if, if he's meant to be with us and with Eremos, can you point him to our direction, make him dream of where we are or whatever? I think at this point I just go, wait a minute, guys, and then I turn to Kitty and say, like, Kitty, did you not say that that portal opened when he hit it with his hammer? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> Crumbar hits the book with his hammer. Ooh. Oh, no. Stand back. <laughs> cool. Ryan. I'm waiting. Go hit it. Click the button. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought I had. Roll damage. <laughs> yeah, you hit the stationary object. Yep, to so take eight bludgeoning damage. Me? Yes, <laughs> you. <laughs> we had the whole episode of this, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the, the book took damage, not me. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> taking it damage. So, as you like, bring up the go the golden warhammer, swing it, smack it into the book, everybody does that, <gasps> and steps back. Eremos just pulls his book up in front of his eyes so he doesn't have to <laughs> watch damage to books. And then uh, you smack it, and then it, like you hear the kind of clinking of the, the kind of almost elven looking chain that's all wrapped around the book, the leaves that are all kind of intertwined. And there's just that almost kind of tuning fork type tap um, mm. in that one almost note. And then, yeah, you you get smacked back as if you've been hit with a hammer. I'm just, just imagining the hammer ricocheting back and like scudding me in the face. <laughs> it's not even that, it's just, it's actually just the, as you hit into yeah. it, it's almost like the force just vibrates force. back the way through you. Yeah. Um, well, I, it is force because it's bludgeoning, right? Mm. It's just it's like not force Gary. type. Just I just, I just kind of stand Eremos, there. But we don't worry, the book won't get hurt. <laughs> I just kind of stand there and I'm just like, but you said hammer hit made portal. Huh? Yeah. I'm just, I'm Other just hammer. I, it's that kind of way I'm just confused at the fact that it's like, well, he hit with hammer so if I hit with hammer, I'll get the same result. <laughs> magic hammer, non-magic hammer. Crumbar <laughs> hammer. Eremos just kind of pipes up. It's like, I don't think it likes magic either. It definitely doesn't like hammers. <laughs> you just like you just see like Eremos is like eyes peering over the top of his book, and you just see his head shake side to side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close to changing my alignment here, guys, just to make him open that bloody book. Someone think, get like, I love it. how you're convinced he can open it, like, because he opens his own book. <laughs> it's just because he's a magical little fuck. So, <laughs> <laughs> so is Eric. Is that the episode title, yeah, by the yeah. way? <laughs> uh, that's just his autobiography, isn't it? Eremos, magical little fuck, <laughs> a.k.a. the Black Fang Spear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, but Eric isn't currently here, so... And so far, Eremos has not been that useful. And in case you don't know, I really want to know what... how to... I don't know, unlock him? Unlock whatever he does? Make him go off? I mean, he must have an on button or something. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, we should do like a, a a separate podcast about our thoughts with the cast. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. So that happens. Maybe this this is the point where like Reach goes in and just slides the book off the table and puts it in his backpack. Yes, please. Yeah. yeah so you can you can add a uh, Eric's book to your inventory. Right. Um, just drag in a normal book and name it that. that no, just reasonable. just just add a, a line to your inventory and just type it. I in. don't even know how to add a line. You no. know. I can it's unlock it, but I can't good. actually add a line. It should just be the plus symbol. Oh, I don't. Yeah, that does it. Right, cool. There you go. Wait, five? Uh, I have no idea. What weight's a book? Five by standard. Cool. Probably five, then. Yeah. I just realised I never had the book in my inventory. You're a fool. <laughs> That's no doubt why it left there. Okay. Probably. <laughs> um... Says you had to delete it, I guess. Right. Sure. Let's see. Yeah, I think, um, I guess you guys just deal with it, right? You just settle in. And then, as Arya says, like, we can only hope you remember us where we're going. Yeah. Hmm. Because you know yourselves, like, you just know the plan was let's all go to. Horizon, and he made that negotiation, and then, as I fucked off, because he literally went, "Right, what we'll do, guys, is uh, I'll uh, I'll go negotiate. Cool, guys, happy. You just need to pay up, though. Uh, you fucked my stuff in the corner. I'm going to go at the corner. I'm uh, <laughs> going to be an edge lord and pour some red energy into my, my new de- <laughs> demon hammer. Uh, I'm going to sneak away and do more, and then I'm going to zip, 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 do away." Wait, he poured it into the hammer? I thought he poured it into the book. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, no, no, it was into the hammer, so I could hit oh. the, the book with the hammer. But right, apparently... okay, sorry, I thought you were just putting it into the book. Nah. What I find interesting is that I hit the book, and the book stayed there, but I went through the floor, or through the portal, and the book just chilled. Mm. Um, you find maybe, it interesting maybe... or infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> maybe oh. you should have hit the book with the hammer. I did. No, sorry, the hammer, the hammer with the book. book. Yeah. Ah, oh, Einstein would have told you that's the exact same thing anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was creepily thinking that as well, but that's <laughs> get out of my head, Stu. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, the... Right. I think, yeah, like, does anybody do anything before they settle in for the journey? Because you're going to have a bit of time. To be I, ju- I just angrily compose myself and go back to the jug of glug. <laughs> I might spend a few days trying to teach Eremos how to throw darts. Yeah. Um, yeah give, me a, a give me a perform check. Perform, performance, right. Charisma. It's oh alright, yeah. No, that's oh. alright. That's reasonable, yeah. And I think, given his performance already, right, he's probably doing yeah. okay. And um, I think what I might do is... Let's say that's... You said it's a few days you'll be doing that for, so... I'm just going to bump his decks up a wee bit because of that. Let's say he's been practicing. Yeah. So, he has his first stat increase, everybody. <laughs> oh my god. Aww. He grows so fast. Yep. And Aww. that's just, I mean, let's face it, it came down to his nat 20 when he was trying to practice all the kata with uh, the other boat trip. And now, obviously, he's been doing okay. He got a 19 on his, like, flat roll for the... Uh, yeah. Good point, yeah. Oh. So, he's actually done okay on those two things. He's really, And he also hit crumbar on the thigh. Um, so like realistically the three things he's really attempted he's done okay at um, mm-hmm. Crumbar who said he's useless um, so I'll give him that although I love how the character sheet that I edited for him I, says that he ha- he carries a club on him which he does not um, <laughs> yeah that'll be getting um, edited off but yeah so that happens um, are they doing anything else on their, their trip anything worthy of note I uh, think I'll get back to you <laughs> I think between like drinking tons and that, I'm always obviously just trying to like test out this new hammer. So I'm swinging it, like you know, find the quiet like face up above that I can swing about in. I'm really hoping me and Kitty have a wee kind of spar about as well to keep. Her. It's kind of difficult to see when like the boat's kind of going. The only time it's quiet is really at night, um, when people try and sleep. And obviously mm. some people stay up at night because that's when they get peace and quiet, right? So mm. this boat's got a lot... This, remember, it's a passenger boat, this one. 
um, yeah, or so. so it is. Um, it's a well, it's a cheap passenger boat, put it that way. Um, so uh, it's, it is like stocked full of people. People that I maybe that, came from yeah. Santa Cora, which is further see where the other G is, like round this way. Right. Like Santa Cora is like, uh, like in that area. Mm. It's like a kind of I think really I'd just be city. like glugging away and playing my pan flute and just trying to, you know, sharing tales of like battles and stuff like that with people. Mm. And like comparing where interesting scars came from and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, like, um, why don't you give me a... Hmm. I guess there's not just a talk roll, is there? Charisma? Um, let me have a look at the skill list and I'll have a nosy see if there's anything that makes sense. Because it's not deception. I guess it's maybe performance, isn't it? Because you're not trying to get anything from them, so it's not persuasion. Are you not trying no, to make it's, them it's just, no, it's just general mm -hmm. chatting. And yeah, I would say they're, yeah, just performance is fine. Roll that, because it's charisma anyway, regardless of your proficiency. So. Yeah! Yeah, I'd say, um, I mean, keep in mind, right. you to a bunch of rando passengers, while be a being a half fuck. orc, no, like, you're the gold order. Right? They no, that's not, no, that's not insane, just I would, in general, would be scary. No, I would I would really say not? you're reassuring to have on the boat because there's something oh, goes right, wrong. Yeah, okay. Like it's like being on a train with a police officer, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, so like, did no one see doing, my red portal? Hmm? Did none of the other passengers see the red portal? Was I hidden well enough then? You went under the staircase to hide behind barrels. I know, but the bright red. Yeah, but the only person that was paying attention, remember, like, people passed by on the stairs when Kitty was, like, sneaking after you, and then they just, like, ran past, because they're like, why is there a weird cat thing in this, the ship? And then red glows beneath her. That's, that's <laughs> people, People's not going to stick around for that. <laughs> also, you're a shifty guy feeding red energy into a magic hammer. Like, nobody's going to, like, make a... And then you said, hello there, is anybody there? And then that wee girl was like, hello. <laughs> and then, she, like, you know, she fell over because she was a bit scared. Also, the Eye of the Storm is at zero, by the way. You've used it. Oh, crap. I haven't seen that. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, I think... No, like, Krumbar, you... You mingled quite well, because despite being a half-orc, you're... You're a big, beefy paladin, right? So... Mm. And I think, like, maybe it's that thing where, like, you go around, you kind of introduce yourself to people, you, like... Maybe you like you gamble a bit with some of the other passengers, play cards with them, whatnot, like three dragon anti or whatever, like whatever all the games are, and um, six halfling pickup is a, a very rude card game. Um, <laughs> Can I uh, roll performance to see if I win any money? No, I'd say like I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do that, it'd be like it probably wouldn't be performance uh, to gamble away, but it'll be uh, it'll be well it depends how are you trying to cheat them yeah no 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 not at all just kind of straight up play them uh, I'd say it's just I mean it's, it's luck really right so how about I'll just roll a d20 and you roll a d20 and we'll okay. see we'll see how it goes right so bam just there you go it's gonna be easy hey yeah so I don't know roll a a d6, I guess. d6? Yeah. Add two silver. Yay! Like, it's not an ex like, by that it would have been a handful of copper, right? That you've yeah, you've yeah. tapped into silver coins. Um, because if people don't have a lot of money on here, that's why they're all crammed in this kind mm. of, you know, sea bus. So... Yeah, no, but, you know, I'm Arison. Yeah, no, definitely, <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, like, Eric, were you around for the coin tapping conversation? Have I told you about the... How many How the coin play right. right. yeah. 100 yeah, copper coins like, and they took one silver. Yeah, you can tap it all. Um, so yeah, yeah. I, think, I think we went through it in character creation. Yeah, no good, I just can't remember if we'd, we'd covered that or not. Just at least you know the money's legit. If you can afford to do it. Obviously, if anything's under 100 copper, you're going to have to soak the loss, right? If you can't yeah. claim it or not. Um, so if MD ever decides to pay you like you know 500 gold's worth of prizes but in like 99 copper denominations you know it's maybe suspect um, so yeah 99 copper but a silver ain't one I think is the uh, the common <laughs> phrase uh, some kind of pop star saying that but anyway so 
So yeah, does anybody else do anything? So we've got Reach teaching Eremos, we've got a Kitty fixing her fur, and we've got a Crumbar mingling, because he's probably sick of Eremos, and a Arya probably dealing with Ruya, most likely on the top deck, I imagine. Maybe. Uh -huh. Possibly. Ah. Oh. Welcome. So I couldn't. Can, I, can you hear me? Yeah, I we got you. Yeah. We got you. Okay. I thought I was. Anyway, I was trying to unmute myself, but it wasn't needed. You're okay. here. It's okay. That's fine. Um. Yeah. So I'd definitely be like on the top deck, probably playing this sort of like game of like. Because obviously I can, I can, I have speak with animals and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably be like letting her like fly a bit ahead of us or whatever, and uh, she'd be like you know looking around and exploring and everything, and then like kind of coming back to me and then tell me what she sees. And then I'm like, oh, but do you see this? Do you see that? Kind of like you know, kind of like playing um, you know that game that you usually play with kids, or like spot something blue or spot something. Yeah. Like I, I can imagine myself. Playing that sort of thing with her. Trying to build a, a kind of almost a scouting her. rapport in a way. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, I've seen a fish. I'm like, oh, what sort of fish? Is it mm -hmm. big? Was it small? Was it red? You know, that sort of like mm -hmm. silly sort of thing. But yeah, kind of like like she she we would occupy our time just like going back and forth that way, and because I think it's a bonding experience, but also quite like you know interesting for. For her, I think, as an animal, to like, you know, feel like she's doing something for her mm -hmm. human, but also like this developing a bit of a skill set. No, definitely. In that way. Yeah, and then. So um, we'd be doing that. And obviously, whenever she sees something that catches her eye, as in like a fish she'll eat, she'll probably just eat it. Yeah, she probably, like, yeah. As I said, she has like a bird of prey, so yeah, she got that sorted. So yeah, no, I think everybody's kind of doing their thing. Um, yeah. I think as well, we have the the last thing that Ruya reports is just that obviously it can see, you know, like land, I guess, upcoming again uh, as you're sailing round into the port of Horizon. Now, Horizon is, I actually think I might have art for this. Give me a second. Uh, Horizon Harbor. Let's see if I can find this. Uh, RPG. There we go. I do actually. This is awesome. Cool. I knew I had art of this somewhere. What I'll do is I'll throw it into Roll20 and like a backdrop for us at some point, but in the meantime. I'll just dump it in our Discord channel. And just now, copy, paste. Is it going to send? I think it's going to send. There you go. So this is the site that user greeted with. Um, Wolf. Yeah. Remember, Horizon's like the magic place. Um, so yeah, you just get greeted with that kind of site. And give me two seconds. I'll see if this here. Horizon. I'll see if I can just dump it into roll twenty. Nope. Oh well. That ruined the stream, don't worry. <laughs> I am um, dumped it over the, the browser entirely when I didn't mean to do it. Sorry everybody at home watching. It's fixed now, honest. <laughs> Wouldn't have from the feather producer and wants to be my free producer, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'll add that into the the backdrop for Roll20 soon as our horizon locale. But yeah, as I said, super magical place. Um, it's very like noticeable in the air itself. There is a slight, I guess, like humidity friction, like there's, there's something in the air, put it that way of this place where it's not quite natural. Um, not necessarily bad, but it's not like the fact that you've just come out of like the open sea 
then you go into a very almost produced air kind of environment near the harbour um, of Horizon. Um, lots of activity here. Lots and lots of activity here. Um, very bustling, etc. And then, yeah, we'll fade out on you guys heading into the harbour and we'll open in Eric's face as his <laughs> blue blue eyes are glowing and there's lots of like almost like a sandstorm not Darud or anything but yeah like lots of uh, we have um, all this kind of red vapour like flowing around him um, what does Eric do? Uh, it's kind of in shock like ah uh, she I guess I feel like am I tumbling or am I just stood there and it's it's hard like... to tell you don't have a sensation of moving but there's definitely like you know like when you're watching a car advert and then they do the wind tunnel test but they draw the lines in you know going around the car <laughs> you have that red vapour like covering you everywhere I guess I'll just wait and see where it pulls me well I mean you're not moving you're just like maybe like a minute or whatever passes so, like, as you wait maybe 10 seconds I don't know how long how long can I wait oh can I move then what do you try and do uh try swim swim I think as, as soon as you go to like take a step there's just this almost exhalation of space that happens and then the kind of like red vortexy kind of room with all the vapour just expands and you kind of fall onto like solid vapour what a great phrase oh so can I keep trying to walk forward mm -hmm. yeah and like you can kind of like move through and it's like you've got that kind of horror movie-esque kind of fog at your feet as well oh, no. um, so like the, again red vapour etc um, and it's very perception disorienting because you look to the side where like red vapor is like kind of flying past your face, but as soon as you look there, there's like depth to it. Oh, trippy. Yeah, it is quite because obviously when you turn around, it's almost as if like you're losing the depth from where you were looking as well. Well, I'm just going to keep pushing forward and try like focus looking forward because everything else is making me like. My head hurts. Yeah, give me a survival roll. Oh god, and not that then least. give me an arcana roll. <laughs> uh, survival? I'm not good at these. Huh. What I love is there's like a one point of difference between them. Like, like, <laughs> so it's not that you're bad at survival, it's just the game hates you doing them. <laughs> 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 What's that? This human noble racist? No, he shouldn't survive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you have this kind of, as I said, this disorienting kind of wonder, I guess. Um, and you, you don't have a sense of time, you don't really have a sense of distance travelled, because obviously when you turn around, you know, you don't have a, where, do, where was I? Like, hmm. anchoring kind of mentality to the place. Uh, and then you wonder for, I don't know, again, some time. Uh, some time. We don't, we don't know, right? We don't know how long it's been. Could be two it Could be. Could be five minutes. Um, you see someone in the distance. Ooh. Yeah. Can I tell who or what? Roll perception at the disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage... Like, yeah, Ooh. definitely. Yeah. Um, rule history with advantage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> with advantage. Disadvantage, nailed it. Advantage, fucked it. You're not good with books, are you? Just in general. No, he's, he's that, just he's, that me. He's, he was told everything he needed to know. You are Lord Rainwood. These are your servants. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that's fine. Um, you spot this person. Do you call out for them? Because like they aren't paying attention to you, and they're off yes. in the distance. Um, uh, hello, can you help me? I seem to be lost. 
and then I think at that point, like this, this person turns around, uh, and then the space between both of you just shrinks. Yeah, why do I think something like that? Very like, happen? not particularly fast, but as if the person just kind of like gestures vaguely out towards you, um, and that, as I said, the, the space shrinks. A bit like Ray when she's in that weird cave thing. She zooms forward. Yeah. And then, um, or like a weird vertigo zoom where you follow the camera kind of positioning. Um, as if you're the static kind of focal point and everything else just gets like, we run the camera forward and then the zoom changes to adjust the perception. To the yeah. terms, you know, yeah, I mean, you, everything was okay. So you're now maybe like, a st like what, 20 feet apart now? And this person kind of stares at you and they look, you know, they look very... what's the word I'm looking for here? Not regal, powerful, self-assured. Self-assured is kind of what I mean. They look very self-assured. Um, and they look they look human as well. That's something else you get. Uh, they look human and they stare at you. And they, they're kind of like trying to assess you. And they just say, And why are you here? Uh, I poured magic into my hammer and hit my book and now I'm here. And do you know where here is? I do not. And this is it. It's a kind of older man that you're looking at. And a... He's just kind of like taking the measure of you very, very slowly, taking in like details of you. Obviously, you know that your eyes are like leaking blue, and your 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 skin's all scarred and such. And uh, like I assume you're still holding the hammer. Yeah. Um, and he says, "By which means did you gain access to here?" Ah, uh, here. It believe it's this gem on my hammer and a figure I believe to be known as Lord Janice give me it. With that as soon as you say Janice right, which obviously you say Janice but it's the same thing um, as soon as you say that, all the vortex stops and solidifies for the split second and Ooh. flows again and then that like disturbs the man you're staring at, like, and he kind of like looks around at the kind of place you're in, the construct you're in, and he says, "I would be careful what is uttered here." And what? then he, uh, he kind of like, he's standing like with a staff next to him, and he tilts the staff round, and you can see at the top end of it. Inbuilt to a staff, there is a red ruby. Ooh. He says, I see you're a fellow traveller. I do travel from place to place. You seem lost, I believe you said. I, I was on a boat. But I... now, I'm here. And he kind of just like, you can see he's about to say something and he's kind of just almost thinking better of it. And then uh, he says, And you say, you were gifted this. And he kind of vaguely gestures, very like sheepishly almost, I think, because he doesn't necessarily want to say, You just said Lord Janus gave you this hammer. You know, he doesn't really want to come out and say that given the reaction this place had to the name. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was given it in a place called the Abyss. That catches his attention. There's no even need for a roll. It's so obvious. Like, his eyes narrow instantly to you. Yes. And this is where you came from? You can see he has gripped his staff tighter. No, I did not come from the Abyss. I went to find out what was going on in the Abyss. And... 
then some big demon was summoned. Lord Janus was there. He gave me the gem. As you say that again, the place like does the exact same thing. As soon as you say Lord Janus, place freezes Stop for a split his second, name. and then like <laughs> like you can feel it shudder this time as it stops, as if someone pulling the brakes on like a train again. I don't know why I train metaphors, but like, you know, it's not comfortable when it stops that for that second. Like someone catching something in their throat. And it's starting again. You can see that disturbs the guy, like he like, doesn't like you saying it. Yeah, no, I'm getting the feeling I shouldn't be saying it. <laughs> so. Only after the second time. <laughs> <laughs> First time could have been a coincidence. Yeah, right, but like, yeah, you're starting to kind of piece that together. Um... He's obviously still got the, this grip on the guy that just said he's from the abyss, uh, on his staff, yeah. and he's looking at you, and then you say what you say, and you say, came from the abyss, Lord Janus, and finish the, the sentence. He, he gave me the gem to leave. Uh, we wasn't strong enough to fight the demons there. We had a, a gold dragon on our side who fought, it, fought the big demon that came through the portal off. Roll insight. Inside. Ah, uh, there's this guy that like was like, "May I leave, Lord Janus?" <laughs> so, you can tell us in your city gold dragon. Again, distaste crosses this guy's face, um, <laughs> and he just looks kind of mm, un uncomfortable at that, as if you've just like, you know released a full order and he uh, he says what exactly was your business in the abyss it's a long story how I ended up there um, I'm just I was there to find out what was happening I was more interested in my book which I no longer have but I was following my party who was under Orders from the Golden Order, and I just tagged along. And he kind of looks you over. Do you have anything golden on? Like, are you overtly? No. I yeah. have my elven. Yeah, your silks. On. Your elven silks. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's probably for the best, right? Because this, this guy's detested to that. And uh, he says, "You mentioned the disturbance." Demons at the abyss. Yeah, uh, I didn't really stick around for too long to figure it out. I just kind of hit the hammer on the floor, and we left, and we travelled. And then I tried to open my book, and now I'm here. And you can kind of just see that, like, he's visibly relaxing. Um, do I have like the kind of white knuckles on the hand gripping the staff anymore? And uh, like whether or not that he just doesn't see you as a threat anymore, who knows? Um, <laughs> and he says, and I don't believe you work for the Golden Order. No, I have been approached by someone saying the mistress will guide me. Still trying to figure out who she is, but yeah. And he's just looking, just like taking again, very like observant of you, like almost like soaking you in visibly um, as you speak. And uh, he says, Are you unaware of your connection? I have a connection. And he motions to like his eyes. And points to like your eyes. The eyes. They gl they glow blue. Is that a significant? You are bound. You summon the storms, do you not? I do. There is one who grants this power. So this isn't my power. He kind of looks you over, and he says, 
You seem unaware of this bargain. If there was a bargain struck, I don't know anything about it. And again, there's a bit of a look of almost pity that crosses his face. He says, Then you are indeed lost, traveller. Hmm. Do you know who the mistress is? Could you tell me more about her? Are you sure you wish to know? Ignorance is bliss, after all. I mean, it's all I... People who I speak to whose eyes glow blue as well tell me, and they don't tell me anything else. I think I need to know more. You have been touched by the mother of sorcery. Uh... Roll history! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, does my character know? I just love how confused you sound right now. <laughs> I mean, no, you've got you've got my chance. The Mother of Sorcery is a name attributed to the Blue Dragon. Ah, and I know this, yes? Yep. You know this somehow. You, maybe you liked dragons as a kid, reading them. Yeah. Um, Everyone else as a kid, yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, you... Out of the five... She is the blue. So she's essentially big, blue, evil dragon woman. And I'm bound to apparently learn. gifted sorcery to the world. And as I said, her Wait, title. Did you, just, did you just say she's evil? Yeah. What alignment's Eric? Neutral chaotic. It's a very personal mm. question. It is. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So. That's what they say, fellow traveller. Uh, like he states the mother of sorcery, you then immediately realise, wait a minute. Wait a goddamn big And maybe second. some of this is like some of your childhood memories kind of like unlocking, maybe the repression kind of breaking away. Um, maybe you think back to like imaginary friends as a kid and such <laughs> um, as well. Like from so, Eric's kind of childhood. As, as all my flashback of my childhood flashed before my eyes. I start to give in to despair a little bit and go, I'm tied to an evil god you dragon. Would, you wouldn't really use the term evil god dragon because she's not considered that. Uh, she's just considered a big blue dragon, right? Like she's, yeah, she's a blue. The, the, she isn't considered good. She's a dragon, right? For everything that means. The only dragon that's really considered good is the gold, great, the, the great gold worm, who's worshipped as a god. It's the only dragon that's worshipped as a god. Ah, okay. If that makes sense. Like, while there might be cults of the blue, etc., right, they are not considered a god. That's not. I'll rephrase that too, yeah. then. Yep. So, I'm bound to the big blue dragon. And he kind of just looks as if waiting for all the revelations to set in, and he goes, it seems as if someone has made this bargain on your behalf. Who would make this bargain? It doesn't make sense. It's I remember it from my childhood. I mean, remember a voice. Is that was that her? Was These that... are blood bonds. You are bound. Your blood has been changed. Is that why I, my skin cracks open with? the blue light I'd like roll a sleeve up to show and then I'm trying to think of a I got a bit, okay I've got an example you're like a water skin filled with too much water so I'm gonna pop I think you already have and he kind of gestures to your kind of scars <laughs> as it were oh, okay so it's not as bad I thought I'm just gonna swell up massively and implode or float away like the uh, Charlotte and Chocolate Factory girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is there any way for me to leave this place? Okay, a slight, like, you kind of like, his eyes dart to your hammer and back to you very quickly. Like, almost too quick to have noticed. And he says, can you not leave of your own free will? 
I had to charge the hammer with my magic. I don't have much left. I don't believe I can put the same amount back in. I don't know if it's charged or not. Kane just looks at you and he says You seem ill equipped to wield such a gift. Yeah, you might and say it, that. And you can see like his other hands kind of doing that thing where like his thumb and his finger are kinda of, like rubbing against each other as if he's like holding up a bit of his robe, um, like with a crooked arm, while his other hand holds the staff. And then he kind of motions it open towards like you, like his, his empty hand, and he says, If you wish, I could... And he kind of like puts his hand out towards the hammer. As long as you don't take it from me. He says and I can't. Gripping it tightly. <laughs> <laughs> Place it's it. up to you. Do you trust the man you've met in the red place? I mean, I'm gonna blast him if he don't. If he like tries to take it from me, I know that might kill me, but like, dude's gonna take my hammer. Come by knows how personal this is. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Like you're about to give him your hammer. There's a difference. <laughs> I'm like, players see it? things he... very interestingly, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. I talk to him. Can you charge it without touching the hammer? And he kind of looks at him and goes, Evidently you cannot. Hmm. And he kind of just gestures like, and you know, looks at his own kind of like, kind of big kind of black staff that he's got. It's kind of like almost like black metal. And it goes into like several points that of, and in the middle of it, this ruby seems to like sit. As if it's got like little kind of like ruby arms that stick to the metal prongs, and then he uh, he says, "I have my gift. I do not require yours." That makes sense, I suppose. So I'll place. I mean, at any hammer. point, you're welcome to roll insight. Right? These are things you can do as a player. I don't know if it's I maybe can, just not. <laughs> I can roll what? Insight to gauge this guy's like. You know, being. Right, I'm rolling insight. Insight is your way of like seeing if this guy's on the level or shifty or what. How shifty is he? <laughs> so does he look like he's going to betray me and take my hammer away if I give it to him? He looks. To give you a bit of like overall scope, you mentioned the abyss. He gripped his staff, right? You mentioned demons and whatnot. He gripped his staff very tight grip. As soon as then you discussed the events leading up to you being in this place, he relaxed to the point where you would when not feeling threatened. Now, like with his statement of I have my gift, why would I need yours vibe, like you don't get the impression he's trying to like deceive you, you don't get the impression there's more to that. Like literally he seems to have his ruby. He's in the place you're in. You have Fair. a ruby. Doesn't necessarily mean two yeah, is better. I'll, than, uh, you know, so. I'll place it on his hand. I'm keeping a tight grip of it though. You, so you place what on his hand then? <laughs> the hammer. <laughs> right, so he's going to put his hand out for the, the hilt, right? The, the actual like the grip, oh, I should say. Okay. Obviously. He's not just going to go, oh, give me your hammer awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just put it in his hand. Yep, and then he doesn't even touch it, he just like kind of the equivalent of Mage Hand floats it over to himself uh, and holds it like kind of in front of him and he just slowly turns it and looks at it and then uh, he kind of just motions back to you and uh, the hammer kind of drifts back towards your hand. Cool. Uh, right, thank you. Uh, man. This seems to be your journey. I feel unless you're willing to lose your connection, I cannot assist you in 
and he kind of looks at like your choice of words. You know, where someone's looking back and what you're saying is charging your hammer. Mm. If you wish, you may join me on my journey. Or if you want, I can send you somewhere else. What is your journey? Well, I was going to say, you should probably ask who this guy actually is. So yeah, like you say, what is your... What is your journey? Yeah. And he kind of he looks at you and says, For the moment, it is at an end. I am about to return home. Okay. I'll join you. What's your name? And then he... Uh, you see him like kind of like wave a hand kind of over his shoulder absentmindedly and then like a kind of like like a parting and the red swirls open as if like an inverted portal right um and you can see kind of almost like like fairly luxurious kind of setting behind him um like a big kind of a couched area exotic trees etc and plant pots and various things and very expensive things just behind him um a rush of like sweet smells and spices hit you um, uh, music is heard straight away and then he moves his staff to the other hand that just kind of waved over his shoulder holds it, puts out his hand and he says my name is Magna and he goes to shake your hand I go I'm Eric Rainwood and he goes to shake his hand and then that's where the session ends Mm. Creepy boy. Yeah. It could kick your ass in a second, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. can we just before we before we move everywhere, can everybody roll history from a player point of view here? And we'll just we'll just get through this now, right? Because I don't mind doing the meta bit right now. Right? Sorry, getting back to my I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what I had for wow. breakfast. <laughs> it was gonna, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I Whoa. should have done that with advantage. Man, <laughs> this has gotten mental. <laughs> wow. So the only people that know is Kitty. Also, um, yours has advantage here, are you? Like. Yeah, that was by accident. That's I don't okay. Really that's okay. Know why. So, right, Kitty. Not that you have any yeah. way of knowing this just now, right? But I just wanted to let Sophie <laughs> know. Magna is the name of the king. Yeah, I yeah. was like, that uh, name's familiar. Yes. I was going to say, I thought we already knew yeah. that, didn't we? Yeah, like, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, but I love his... It's an NPC list or something like that, but yeah. somewhere. King Magna. Yes, the, the wizard oh, yeah. king. Um, oh, Ask yeah. him if he knows Aramos. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't think he'll like him. Imagine, imagine if it went through the full story. <laughs> yeah, right? Imagine you had. Like, you nearly did. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what I love is just the fact that you've been like, yeah, I'll come to your gaff. Like, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'm now on Omen. Yeah, so it depends if he's on Omen, right? Maybe he doesn't True. live there. He said home. Yeah, he did say home. A man that seems to have an eye of like Janus attached to his staff and can walk through r the red space. Yeah, sure. Home, <laughs> home's in a normal place, right? Um, but how did his? Uh, how did Kitty know her? Uh, no history, but I didn't. Uh, well, to be honest, Kitty knows a lot more about Horizon than you do, right? So Kitty's probably yeah. more invested in the political nature of the world, given that Horizons were the like the Wizard King's daughter rules. Yep. There. Being Princess Justoria. So yeah, um, that was a lot of fun. Quite yeah. frankly, um, what would you like to call that session? Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> the um, king is here. The king and I. The king and I. The king and I. But it has to be <laughs> the king and I. Right. Oh yeah. Good yes. point. Yeah. Yes. Like I can't think of a better. Ti I'm. Yeah. Not eye to eye was going to be the other one, but I prefer the king and I. Um. Not going to lie. Yeah. 
Super, Alter. <lacht> right? Das ist gut. Das ist gut. Was ich liebe, ist, mein favorite thing about it ist, Calendar all that without knowing who he was, and that's my favorite thing about it. <laughs> um, it's yeah, also I'll go with you. I have no idea who you are. Ah, the only other person I've met in this weird place that seems to like choke on the word of the guy that got me here. Brilliant. <laughs> Sensible. Um, I'm yeah. going for knowledge. Evidently. Uh, right. Cool. I mean, if MD's got any other suggestions, I will listen to them. But I'm just gonna go about hard sell for titles. No, I'm good. No, I'm done. Yep, cool. Good, good. Um, right, so, goals. <laughs> Inform GDW of the Abyss situation. You have kind of went, let's go to Horizon. And completely change it, yeah. So, how do folks feel about the goal just now? Goal should be changed to meet oh, up with the like princess. Oh, right, yeah. Or, yeah. Seek an audience for the princess, what it should be. Seek a princess with a princess. Okay, so Scott's not like the words anymore. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could, like, if your letters are the concern, right? You just know where the letters came from. You are, like, at the, the harbour, as it were. Um, yeah, let's say seek that. an audience with a princess. Everybody else's thoughts? So... Eric, remember you're like, or Cal, you're welcome to win in the goal conversation, even though you seem to be on your own quest. <laughs> yeah, I let the I let the party decide because uh, I'm off on a merry little right adventure. Mm -hmm. How are you? All I'm saying is we're we're in just such a like weird place right now that I'm like, uh, you know, like in like in Buffy, the where do we go from here? Sort uh -huh. of thing. So I'm I'm a bit like. At a loss as to well, you're what about makes to sense in. right now. Yeah, well, you're about to head into Horizon, the city of magic, right? So, if you ever wanted any magic stuff or magic answers or magic, 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 like obviously we, obviously we in character have no fucking clue where Eric is and with whom and everything. So we technically don't know all of that. But yeah, but he was in you guys. So screw that guy. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I'm, I'm still hoping that a, either A, he'll find his way to us, or B, Celeste will guide him to us, or mm -hmm. he will make his way to, you know, the last place he knows we're headed to. Mm -hmm. And that, so that's kind of what I'm hoping. But yeah. So out of character, I'm like. Well, shit. <laughs> what's gonna? What's this gonna mean overall? But in character, I'm like, um, this. Uh, well, they, this guy just disappeared, and we <laughs> don't have a way to find him. You know, really worried for him as I would for others. Yeah, that makes sense because obviously you're a bit more den mother esque than the rest of the party. Anyway, you're quite protective. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So now that makes Mama sense. Hen. Yeah. Mama bear. Well, why don't you maybe put you in one of the go like? I don't you know, you, like, you know at some at some point I will want to be able to transfer from there, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do that now, I think. Really? Pretty I sure. I need to check what does that, because that... Yeah, pretty sure you can do that now. Like, people people randomly seeing a bear and a hawk walking around, like, yeah. together and you think, like, what? It's like the new Banjo-Kazooie game, right? So, <laughs> sorted. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's probably the, the spell to cast it. Banjo-Kazooie! <laughs> when you transform. But yeah, like, um, yeah. so is the goal sort something out in Horizon? Is the goal open the letters or find someone in Horizon to open them for you? Or is it go see the princess? Is it go meet uh, up with Eric? Is I it find a way to track Eric? I think we <laughs> should see the princess. I think we definitely should see the princess and just hope that Eric finds us. Mm -hmm. But then again, that's up well, to you Well, feel free to move the inform the GGW back to the pending list. And then put something else in the yeah. active goal then. Yeah, we're happy with that. Our letters need to be opened. Ah, shit, I just closed it. Um, I mean, I'd say seeking an audience for the princess would be good. Mm. 
Again, it's you guys to make. Like, this is how you get XP. What's folks' thoughts? Because obviously, it's a very different set of GM prep for me uh, between the weeks. If it's burn Horizon to the ground or go have tea with the princess. I have two different Let's types of notes to make. Yes. Do it. I, I don't British. think we're at the point where we can be like burn it to the ground, but we're definitely at the point where we where we have an in sort of say with the princess, kind of like, "Yo, ma'am, you gave us these. What mm. are we supposed to do with them?" You know. Exactly. So I think we have that, mm -hmm. but we're definitely not in a position to go there and like barge through the doors, no matter how much Crumbar would like that. Oh, keep in mind, um, you've got the seals on them as well that have the... Demand stuff. Like the princess's seal on it, so yeah. Exactly, so that will give her, give us an audience with her, I'm quite sure. So um, if that's the goal you want, yeah, pop in. Because since we're heading there anyway, and we can just hope that Eric finds us, I think. Now obviously it's... He does have his own letter, everybody. so... Yeah, can't be. I know. Which is good. No, what I mean is it's good because he has that. Which means oh, he can find us. Yeah, he can find us. Well, yeah, I know he you could. Know. He's got the same level of access. He can join us. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that way. Yeah. If that's something he even gives a shit about now. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think that that's what we should do. I think we should seek, like, in uh, in the long shot, in the sh short term, our goal should be to seek out to actually speak to this princess and find out. What on earth yeah. she wants from us, and what the tickets, the tickets, the mm. letters are for. What's going to be interesting as well about that is what you do with Eremos. Oh yeah, she probably shouldn't see him. Hmm. <laughs> or should she? Would she be the best person to keep him? Yeah, no, I think she'd be fine. Uh, uh. Mm. Maybe you guys go and I'll stay with Eremos. Because <laughs> keep in mind, there is the fact that. You were told by Celeste, the Wizard King, Black Fang yeah. Spear. I want Black Fang Spear so he doesn't have Black Fang Spear. This is the daughter you are hoping to meet of the Wizard King. Well, the fact that she doesn't live with him makes me think that maybe there's an internal feud. I mean, she's in charge of a whole city. I mean, maybe she has more information on the little thing. Maybe. I mean, hell, and if Celeste really wants them, then boom, she can come and yeet us out of the place. <laughs> Remember that? Why aren't you going to get them? Because you are like, of the world. You know the scene in Twilight <laughs> where uh, Belle, like whatever her name is, starts trying to like hurt herself to make uh, that guy show up? I love how you're trying to like, edit your knowledge of Twilight out so we don't... I'm totally going to pretend I do not know the plot of the most horrible film. Well, actually, no, there's a... No, 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 uh, it really was the most horrible film ever. It's like Abusive Relationships 101. <laughs> so, right, let's, let's refocus in, right? So, goal, succinctly... Is as much as I love what Sophie typed, I love it to bit Sophie. Have tea and scones with the princess. I think, um, <laughs> like, we get the gist of that. I think it seems to be like Arya's happy with that, obviously. Is Reach, Kitty, and Crumbar happy with that? Yeah, so yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm always down for food, so. <laughs> cool. No, Very elegant this time, though, Kitty. Now, here is a thing, right? Eric, what is your goal? Stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> Stay alive is a good one, but... Uh... I mean, at what point am I giving you XP for that, though? Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, never? <laughs> never. End of the game, there you go. No, because <laughs> like, yeah, if, uh, if we end the campaign, you get the XP when it's the most useless. <laughs> well, <exactly. laughs> or you die during it, in which case you don't get the XP. So uh, you should get it at the end of each game, <laughs> each <laughs> session. <laughs> Still alive? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I guess uh, as Eric find out more about Magna, like Eric don't really know the name. Magna. You know, fuck all about Magna. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> <time>. <laughs> you're just 
it's that way where you can't see trees for staring at a forest, right? Like, it's just that <laughs> obvious that it's like... Maybe this is why he's kind of amused, because you're you're literally a lost fucking soul in somewhere <laughs> that nobody else normally is. And he's found you, and he's like, you don't know who I am? Like, I'm a big deal where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be um, funny if I said, I'm Lord Eric Greenwood. He's like, you're Lord and you don't know me. Yeah, wow. right? That's amazing. You're, you're actually nobility. <laughs> and you don't know the king. But that's... Maybe that's because you've never f- actually seen him. Nope. Even though he's on all the money. But yeah. I mean, I live a sh- sheltered life. I had People seven, pay seven for things for me. for me. I don't handle money. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm wh- just here as a figure. I am at the top of it all. I know nothing. I am literally the poster board. So, what's Eric's goal? Um... I guess I don't know. It's mm. it's a bit hard because I wanted because it'd be discover who Magda is. I'll step through and then it probably might click straight away. Seems to be into wherever it is. Well, discover Magnus is like a fucking unending goal, right? Like that's a deep goal. So it is a deep remember, you need to have like succinct kind of ability to achieve. Like I wish to hit a perfect score on a dartboard is a goal you can attempt to achieve. <laughs> Saying, I wish to master darts, that's a tricky one. Do you know what I mean? Like, those Maybe are different scopes. rejoin the party. Yeah, f- so find a way to rejoin the party. Yeah. Yeah, that's reasonable, because it doesn't say rejoin the party. I'm going to spell that properly. There we go. Um, it's find a way to rejoin them, not rejoin them. That's you see yeah. how that's achievable. Um, not that I'm saying rejoin them isn't. Once I have a way to rejoin them, I can then go about investigating and figuring out stuff. I could be Inspector Gadget about the hat. Yeah, it's like the gadgets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the gadgets, the hats, the investigation. Uh, mostly, I'm just Eric, actually. Uh, yeah. I'm so, like... so what we'll do is we'll narrow down the wording of the goal for the Alpha Team um, first. Next time we run, right, we'll do that to start for a ghost chat. We'll see if Eric's changed his mind about wanting to rejoin the party goals wise, we'll review them, but that's you've sort of got some time to obviously think about refining those. You just want to have an idea. Um because obviously he's wanna start kind of scooping up XP, remember he's got about three thousand three hundred to scoop up before he's hit level five. And then yeah, we'll see how Eric does on his uh, solo quests. Um let's do our review now and we're gonna leave Eric till last so we'll start with Reach. Oof. Mm. What do I like? How, how did you find this session? Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. That's confusing, but yeah, good. That's yeah, confusing. What are we doing? Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? Sometimes it's like, what what is what is the party's goal? It's why I like the goal system for XP because I think it makes you guys actively think about what should we be doing, right? Like, what is the the next step? What's the plan? Because right now you're chasing a god to tell him about his son being a problem, while mm-hmm. being like, "Well, we've also got these letters that seem more achievable than finding a god." So, and this kid that's possibly a weapon of mass destruction you're meant to deliver to a spooky woman. So, yeah, I can see why it's confusing. Can you put it that way? <laughs> I'm being flippant, obviously. Um, I love my story, but the the journey is just. Yeah, it's something. Uh, yeah, I mean, anything else to add to that reach? Or are we good with confusion? Not really, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much that's it. <laughs> Kitty? Nil. I, I quite enjoyed the bit where like he disappears and I just panic. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah. I, I spend too long panicking that I can't jump in after him. Because I like the idea that it's like, it's a, oh, he's gone. Somebody should go with him so he's not alone. Also, I don't want to be the one stuck with him. Ah, uh, oh, people should know this. Why isn't there two of me? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. You need good. to have had illusion. That's the thing. You should have been a warlock. <laughs> just, or even just telepathy of some kind. Just been like, guys, I'm jumping My into dad. a red portal. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> um, or like some kind of magic writing, link. like you know, just right on the wall, jump through. <laughs> Kitty was here. <laughs> yeah, 
No, it was good. I enjoyed that moment. It was good. I liked your choice as well. I liked the hesitation to let it close. I thought that made sense because you actively hesitated because like, oh, I don't know. So I don't know if Kitty would know. And then, yeah, it closes. It's good. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? No. Grumbard in a book. No, I got nothing else to add, bro. Nothing at all. No feedback. No no review. Just, uh, just, just, just nothing. It was fun. I like that Eric got sucked into a portal and it's kind of split off into two different kind of story arcs. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fact that he met the king's a bit fucking... It just means shit's gonna go down, which mm-hmm. I kind of am looking forward to. Chapter 3, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's where we're at. Um, yeah, that no, was good. As I said, like, the world's gonna react to what you guys do. You start fucking around with crazy red gems you get from weird <laughs> spooky folk and demon chasms. Yeah, like, weird shit's gonna happen. Especially when you just say, open. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, 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 no. I believe the phrase was open, damn it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> bloody books, <laughs> right? Um, this is why I just had servants deal with it. God. Also, it clearly wasn't the bloody books fault you with a fucking teleporting hammer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I forgot it did that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> You forgot <laughs> the one thing the hammer did to move you from the bit. You go, I'll just hit the oh, yeah, this thing moves people. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I slept since then, right? Are you? I personally think I have my head a bit exploded right now. In that, <laughs> like, obviously, in character, I'm probably like not not faffing, but like you know, worried, but like full of faith that this would sort itself out. But as a player, I'm like. Mind equal sign blown. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of like, okay, let's just gonna get topsy turvy. It's gonna be exciting, I think. Um, what I love is the idea that Scott's or Crumbar, who knows his theory, but obviously his, uh, <laughs> if he thinks that, say, Princess Justoria and her sweet father are uh, at odds just because they live in different cities, I. Uh, Great if uh, Eric pledged the party's allegiance to the king and then used pledge your allegiance <laughs> to the princess, wouldn't it? <laughs> what a wonderful storyline that would be. I mean, I'd rather go with the oh. princess, so. <laughs> I uh, do not like the king. Public opinion generally is that, right? The king does a lot of good, but is a bit totalitarian in ways. Again, with the whole, I'm not okay with religion because you shouldn't worship, like, lazy gods. You should worship active deeds that are done by people of power. Subtle hint, me. <laughs> um, <laughs> because he's actively achieved, like, amazing feats of magic, safety and, you know, protection and, you know, built wondrous cities. And then people are going to sit and pray to like the god of civilization and be like, Cheers, buddy, for keeping it safe. And the king's like, Fuck, man. That was me. Where's my prayer? <laughs> I am. And on the flip side of that, he seems to have had interactions, right, with the god. Given his place speaking yep. to Eric. So, I. Interesting hypocrisy he's got going on. I mean, end of the day, the Great Gold Worm's a big ass dragon, so yeah, he wins. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> the end. Goodbye. <laughs> right, and I think uh, anything else to add, Arya? Um. Besides, mind equals. Not explosion. really. I'm just really. <laughs> Still trying to take it I'm in. I'm just really excited for next week. Like honestly, I'm just like, okay, where do we go from here? You know, have that sort of yeah. Like, I'm glad energy to- about it. Glad you're enjoying it. It's good. It's good fun. This is the type of stuff I feel off as well as a GM. As soon players but like, that's oh god. Also gonna, that's <laughs> also gonna make. That's also gonna make this week feel like it's friggin' crawling. So I do have a bit of a love-hate relationship with you right now. Yeah, I get that. Don't worry, I get that a lot. Um, <laughs> but then well, you know, as long as you don't uh, uh, begrudge it, then that's <laughs> that's fine. Sorry, what's that? Re- real hate, though. Re- it's not re- real hate. Re- hate. You lose your ability to fly. Oh no! How did that happen? Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. And last but not least, 
Eric, he has mm. never read a history book. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I loved it. My favourite thing, again, see for plot, like, the roles I get from you guys generally goes with what I want, which is good, because my desire would f be for you to not have recognised him, but I'd rather give you the chance to, and fantastic role. Thank you for that. Just be like, hello man, I am also a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making my work that way in this world, because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with anything. Like, I'm low on magic and have a hammer that feeds for me. And it brought me here, I think, against my will. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I ain't got a clue. Help. Yeah. Your ribby looks like my ribby. But yours is in a staff and mine's is in a hammer. And he's just <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take my hammer? <laughs> I didn't even you touch it. Yeah. But then... Just did magic. Well, he literally just magically lifted it, looked at it, and handed it back to you, and was like, yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this one's my problem, that one's your problem. Um, <laughs> but then again, you know it's your hammer, right? Because as I said, you have that draw to it. Um, so, there's maybe more to that. Maybe there's a connection he's not willing to cross. You know? Um, but either way... With an actual god. I mean, he's, he's ev he evidently doesn't mind wandering around his space, right? So, <laughs> bye. So, any other review? Because I think I've just talked over your own segment here. So, carry on. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit like Adri. I'm just a bit like, what the? <laughs> I thought I'd just be dropped somewhere, not just like put in limbo, where the Wizard King's just like, yeah, so. <laughs> This is, this, is, this is what happens, right? You go to crazy places and this is where people people hang out, right? Apparently. Apparently this is where big powerful wizards hang out. I guess. Yeah, I like, I like how you've just kind of discovered this void where it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is where people go. Thinking, I could store my stuff here. There's loads of room. <laughs> and, and no room wherever I look. <laughs> <laughs> I could throw it. I could throw a ring off in here, and it disappear forever. Or it could hit me in the back of the head. It's <laughs> <laughs> just how it goes, right? Uh, anything else you want to add? Um, help me, guys. <laughs> just that. Just help. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love how it's right. help me, Kitty the Kill. You're my only hope. I don't know. It looks awfully like your problem. <laughs> <laughs> help me pull me back out I, what, I should tell them it's that moment in a video game where you've got like pull the left trigger to do something, pull the right trigger to do something and then the bar in the middle starts ticking away and you go, oh god, what do I do? do I jump in? do I, do I not jump in? do I jump in? Do I, and then it times out and then she goes, oh, oh no I didn't pick, I'm still here yeah, like the, the Deadpool face of <gasps> yeah, but it's like your your paws are like splayed between the, like, the kind of hallway where the ladder, like the kind of the stairs are going down, and you're like clawing into the sides of the boat so you don't fall into this <laughs> portal, and you're like, oh, what do? <laughs> Eric, and they go, oh, a book. <laughs> it's Eric's book. He must be in the book. <laughs> <laughs> um, brilliant, love it. Uh, yeah, um, that's. I think that was a good session. I can't wait for next time. Quite frankly, I think it's going to be awesome. I hopefully we can try and get every day again for next time, given what mm -hmm. the fuck's happening. Um, but yeah, uh, goodbye everybody, thanks for playing, etc, etc. Bye. 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 Bye.